I always say that one of the best kept secrets of being flexible and being adaptable and being able to change your plans is actually the reverse of that, which is being organized. And one of my favorite ways to really just be prepared for anything that happens, last minute company, kids that want a quick afternoon snack, is to freeze things in advance. You know how sometimes if you freeze things in a bag, if you guys do, or even if you just, however you wrap your stuff in the freezer, they end up getting squished in the freezer because it's a soft bottom. So this is gonna make sure that your baked goods don't get squished. I have these pieces of cardboard and I just took any cardboard box that I got from the supermarket and just cut it in the right size for the Ziploc bag. And the way I did it was just I kind of eyeballed, I put the bag on the box and I made sure that it fit. And then I took some foil and I wrapped the piece of cardboard in some foil and that's super easy. Let me just show you around really quickly. You can use parchment paper too. And if you use parchment paper, you're gonna to wanna to use a little piece of uh, tape and just seal it on the back. So we're gonna close this up. And you could just keep doing these. I actually keep stacks of these at home because I use them every time I freeze anything. Like that. So this becomes your floor. And I'm gonna take some of these gluten-free chocolate chip cookies and place them right inside. You could use a bigger Ziploc bag, so sometimes I have a lot of cookies, and I'll use a double-sized bag and cut the piece of cardboard slightly smaller than the bag, if that makes sense. And so, see how I don't really have a ton of room to make another layer? But if you had a bigger bag and a smaller piece of this, you would have more space at the top to do a double layer. And that's it, we're gonna fill this up, and we can do the same thing with pretty much anything. I've got some brownies here, too. You could do them with muffins, anything that you don't want to get squashed. The other thing I love about this, so we used to do this, but instead of doing it with a Ziploc bag, we'd get some saran wrap and just wrap the whole thing. And every time somebody wanted a treat, we'd have to like cut through the saran wrap and sneak one. Actually, this way, if you sneak one, like you kind of just rearrange and it'll, it'll tell me you've done that before, snuck a brownie from the freezer. That's it, so we're gonna stack these in the freezer and I would love to hear from you guys. What are your favorite tips to staying organized and how do you stay flexible by being organized in your kitchen?